I put out a tweet basically saying, like, in nine hours, all of the weakest willed men are going to hide behind buzzwords as a way of critiquing uh, the Marvels. And a lot of people were triggered by that, which I found uh, both expected and entertaining, in that I didn't say the only reason you wouldn't like it is if you were weak-willed, but I said that the weak-willed would hide behind buzzwords. So anyone that felt that um, that I was talking to them, that's that's on you. And then exactly that occurred. I don't think you're a misogynist if you don't enjoy the Marvels, but I do think misogynists won't enjoy the Marvels. Like, they're mutually exclusive concepts. I didn't think Captain Marvel was that good. Misogynists are dedicated to not exactly. enjoying the Marvels. But They've th made up their minds. And they it. do it without actual critical analysis. That's the difference. Is like, when I say, very specifically in the tweet, the buzzwords element, it's because they don't actually have anything to say. <laughs> they're just cowards. So, it's a really <laughs> interesting, like, duality of people being like, oh no, I've been hurt by this mean man, and the actual reality of, there are a lot of people that just don't like strong women, and those people aren't worth existing. <laughs> like, I just don't think that should be the, the thing we hide let's behind. Let's pare so, down the chat right I now. mean, let's just get rid – open to the top. Uh, no, it'll bring in all the people that love putting American flags and shit. So, like, those <laughs> people will rally. Uh, but I just think it's really important to acknowledge, like, I didn't think Captain Marvel was that great. I, it's in my bottom four MCU. Okay. But because of the people that don't like it for no good reason, it's harder to talk about. It's harder to criticize a movie that I wanted to be good, that I thought should be good. But the things I don't like about it have nothing to do with – it has to do with the filmmaking. Like, mm. I think that the first one was directed in a very um, superficial way. It had a <laughs> lot of, like, we get it, she's rising. Like, she rose, like, 82 times. And the the telegraphed twist and all those things. And the reason I think The Marvels is going to be so good is I think Nia DaCosta is an incredible director. Sure. I loved Candyman. I think that <laughs> Amon Vellani is charm incarnate. I think Brie <laughs> Larson has found a different route to Carol Danvers. And I think what uh, Tiana Paris is going to do with Spectrum is going to be a great balance between Carol and Amon Vellani's take on Kamala Khan. So all of the ingredients are already a better uh, soup, in my opinion. they got a stew going. <laughs> and I think that that plus the fact that Marvel is looking to recalibrate strongly. This movie was shot before they uh, decided to like pause and adjust and like really look at their stuff, but they are having more time to edit. They are having more time to play with tone. They are having more time for visual effects. So I think the Marvels has a lot of potential to be the thing that I wanted the first Captain Marvel to be. And that's why I'm so excited for this one because I do like the character. I do like the cast. I do like the director.